Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve the cross more efficient or faster. So today I'm going to be focusing on um, doing the white cross, which is probably the one that most cubers learn the first. So, let's just scramble up the cube here. So what you want to look out for is first, never try to sort of solve one piece at a time. What I mean by that is, for example, I see a piece right here. I solve it in, so that's one move. And then two moves, three moves, um, four, five, six. So that's a six move cross. But if I did that more efficiently, I might get it four moves or five moves because I can eliminate some of the moves. And keep in mind that every single cross can be solved in or under eight moves. So what I mean by that is, for example, if I solve this cross the most efficient way, since um, I know that the um, this edge, which is the white and orange edge, is going to be the opposite of the white and red edge, which means that this one needs to go here. And I can solve that very easily by doing these two moves. So two moves. And then, since I know that the um, orange, orange piece is going to be going right here, and the blue piece should go here. So I can just do a third move like that. And then I can just, this is a really, really easy cross. For example, I can do fourth move and then bring that up fifth move, sixth move. So every single cross can be solved in or under eight moves if you use the correct solution. For example, if I do this cross without the correct solution, I mean without the most efficient solution, I would do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine moves, which means that I'm not finding the most efficient solution. So how do you actually find the most efficient solution? First is keeping in mind that when you're practicing, always have the cross on bottom. This means that after you solve the cross, like so, you can go into the F2L stage right away. For example, I have that, um, that cross finished, then I can just quickly get into the F2L, which means that I won't um, actually waste time rotating the cube around. And that might seem only like one second or two seconds, but when you're fast, one second is basically a really, really big difference between you and the other people. So, um, I'm just gonna do some walkthrough solves and also give you some tips on how to make your cross faster. So when I first started learning the cube, it is a nightmare, which means basically I just can't have, just I just don't know where the pieces actually went. So here is something to keep in mind. None of the centers actually move, which means that the orange center is always going to be left of the blue center if you have the white center down. No matter how you turn the cube, the centers are still going to be the same, which means that if you have a um, blue center over here, then you probably need a, um, a orange center at the left of it, which means that if I had this piece over here, then I just need to put a um, orange piece over here and then align them. And also something to keep in mind, if uh, for this cross, this is um, an, a very easy cross, I would say. Um, just, you can just one, two, whoops, I think I broke up the next cross. So in the next video, I'm going to be going over how to solve the next cross, but in this video, I'm just going to uh, tell you guys how to solve the actual cross. So for example, I have that, and then I can just do the um, X cross over here. 
and then I can do that, and then fairly easy cross. Um, so, some tips to keep in mind is that when you're solving the cube, none of the centers change, which means that even though the, this piece is over here, I can just put in that, that piece over here because I know that um, the white and orange edge is always going to be going on the right side of the orange, uh, the white and green edge, which means that I can just simply do one, two, three, put that in. And then I could just do, um, since I know that this piece is always going to be left of that piece, I can just do five like that. And then when I am completing the cross, I can just move that out and do that. That is another cross. So let's do some example crosses here. For example, um, remember, always do your cross on the bottom. This might seem like a nightmare, but trust me, it's so worth it. So first, I see this piece is already aligned and that is already aligned, which means that I can just move that down, move that down. And then since I see this piece, this piece, I can move that in and then I can move that in too. And then for the last piece, I can just do that. All right, so here is another cross piece. Um, when, I, um, when I'm looking at the cross, I could, let's see, what could I do? So I see the piece over here, which is which can be really easily inserted over there. And also, um, this piece can be really easily inserted over here. So which means I'm going to bring that one down, that one down, and then I'm going to rotate the cube like that. And then while solving this piece, I built my cross up to solve that piece also, which means I can just solve that piece, the red piece, and then the green piece. That is a very efficient cross. All right, couple of more, okay? So um, basically for this one, I want to see which piece goes um, to the left of the orange piece, which is the green piece. So right off the bat, I don't see anything special or anything that is really easy. So I'm just going to bring that piece over here. And then since I know this is going to be going on the left side of that, I can just do that and then do that. In. And then an X cross, ooh, all right. That is a really, really easy X cross. So um, X cross, as I said, will be linked in the next video, but still um, we are going to do some more practices. So. Right off the bat, I don't see anything that is too easy, I would say. But I know that these two are going to be the opposite, so I can just move that down. That's one step. And then I can move that over. And then I can do this. Two steps, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven step cross. And also, if I you didn't Notice that this is already an FDL pair, so you can just put that out and you could just do that. So I will also do a video on how to save the FDL pairs. Um, and that, yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I'm just going to do one more, one last demonstration solve here. Um, let's see. Three. All right, that is a cross. I think that took like two or three seconds. I would say if you're trying to get under three seconds, you need a cross of less than four seconds. And since um, I just started doing the cross on the bottom about this month or so, it's really easy to get in the habit of it. It's just that somebody like, are just honestly a bit lazy to learn um, sort of new algorithms or like new methods, but 
doing the cross on the bottom will save you so much time that I think it's not a regret to learn the cross on the bottom. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Um, I hope you found this helpful, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!